everyone, I'm Devin Alexander, celebrity chef and New York Times bestselling author. Even I can have a tough time getting meals on the table for my picky toddler, and I'm sure you've experienced the same. The truth is, half the time they're screaming for finger food, but there's a ton of alternatives even if you want to keep them healthy. I'm going to show you options for breakfast, lunch, and dinners, and I'm sure your kids are going to love a lot of these. We're gonna start by making apple fries with peanut butter dip. This dip is so easy and it'll make your apples a hit. So I just have some too good vanilla yogurt here and I'm going to add some peanut butter. I love the O Organics that's made just from peanuts and salt. Mix those up, whisk it. This is such a fun thing to do with the kids. They'll probably end up with their fingers in it, but you know. I have so much fun in the kitchen with my daughter. I don't even know what we do without cooking all the time. It's kind of our mommy-daughter play date. Okay, then you literally just spoon it into the bowl. You'll notice I have this little kid martini glass. It's plastic, believe it or not. So fun to just add a little flair without calories or any sort of unhealthy ingredients with fun little cups for them. And that's it. Just took some apple sticks, dipped them up so ridiculously delicious. Next, let's tackle those dinnertime woes. Mom, I want chicken nuggets. Mom, I want fish sticks. Well, I'm going to show you fish sticks that you'll actually feel good about. This is a stick of fish. I use water from Bistro's Wild Alaskan Cod and my daughter absolutely loves it. So just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of garlic seasoning. Believe it or not, she has loved garlic her entire life. I know a lot of parents don't feed their kids garlic, but I'm telling you, she eats so much more because I do. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my zucchini sticks and take a tiny bit of olive oil, just a little bit here, a little bit of salt, toss these together. These will be our zucchini fries with fish sticks and I already have some squash fries made. My sort of fish and chips reimagined. Fire up the pan here, that get a little toasty. Add a little bit of olive oil to my fish. I'm telling you, surprisingly, from the time my daughter was a little, little child, she loved fish. I served it to her the minute I could and she's loved it ever since. Again, it's another one that I know some parents hesitate and they think their kids might not like it. Yet, they do think that they'll like fish sticks. So if your child loves fish sticks, try these. It takes seconds to make. And the really cool thing about this is I get to keep myself fit at the same time because I make myself a fish fillet and then I only use one pan. I'm not worried about different timing. It's so easy. Put those in there and then put our Zucchini sticks. While those cook, I'm gonna move on to my next super easy dish. Next up are cucumber bites with guacamole. Now, we kinda of cheat on what guacamole actually is in my house. You'll see here, it's the easiest thing in the whole world to make and another kid fave. Okay, just take your avocado, put it in a bowl. and smash it. Oh, I'm gonna flip my fish for a second here. Definitely don't want that to burn. Okay. okay, mash that. And now I'm gonna add some lime juice. Again, this is like a simple guacamole. It's not really guacamole. Always roll your limes on the counter to release the juice before you actually squeeze them. A little bit into your bowl, along with a little salt. And this is what my daughter thinks guacamole is. Okay, time to flip the fish again. It's interesting, my daughter always says, no brown spots, no brown spots, which is pretty funny because as a chef, that's the caramelization. For her, I might not let them brown as much, but just to show you how delicious and restaurant quality they can be, even with that tiny bit of oil, I'm gonna brown them a little more today. Okay. 
They are looking pretty perfect. Sticks. And the fish is flaking perfectly, so I have to be a little careful. But as you can see, this is going to be a completely pick upable meal. How fun is that? And for the squash fries, most people look at those and think that they're sweet potato fries, even adults. But they're so amazing when you make them from squash. And you'll note, I cut them in tiny little kid-sized strips. So my daughter has so much fun, she will literally like try to eat a whole tray of them. She loves them so much. You can either just use olive oil and salt, or for an extra treat, I make the sweet ones with a little cinnamon for her. Okay, let's go back to our guacamole that's not really guacamole, but I use so much marketing as a mom. Like I tell my daughter something's guacamole, I tell her she gets the sweet fries because I added cinnamon. You can use all of those little hints in your favor. Okay, let's put this on here. And you know, kids get tired of eating so many cucumbers by themselves. So this little guacamole alternative, I guess I should be really calling it, is perfect put a little squirt on these pretty cucumbers. Hello, a little extra on that one. Go back, make it all even. But you can see a lot more fun than just a plain cucumber. And as you can see, they're all completely pick upable. You know, I tell my daughter often that we're having a girl party, especially when I have friends come over. And this is such a nice appetizer for our fun parties. Again, any fun you can bring into your kitchen is going to help your child eat something that you'll notice is completely green. My daughter's not at all resistant to eating green food. And I think it's mostly because I create so much fun. We throw lemons and limes, we do all sorts of fun things with our food, and I allow her to eat with her fingers a lot. And I'm not teaching her wrong because these really are pick upable foods. For breakfast, I love to make things like this super easy throw together breakfast pizza. You actually get some protein from the too good yogurt that I put in there, or you can use Greek yogurt. Uh, I put some fruit on top, so there's some fiber along with some whole wheat pita. Really easy, throws together minutes. You can toast it in the oven or not. And then here I have some mini frittatas. My daughter loves happy monsters. Um, so I just threw a couple olives and some peppers. There's more peppers inside. And then there's so many different varieties. Literally, I just take the lucerne egg substitute, pour it into a mini muffin tin, par-bake them, and then top them. One of these has some pesto with tomatoes, there's broccoli, there's ham, there's so many different options. And those are great not only for breakfast, but also for lunch or an afternoon snack. Then I make my sandwiches sometimes instead of, you can either make finger sandwiches or you can make roll-ups, which I have one here. You saw me make the cucumbers. Now this one may look like chicken nuggets, but actually it's not. It's just ground turkey pressed into cookie cutters. It's so easy. I'll show you in an upcoming video. And then I season it a little bit and pan fry it. For here, I did some love for my daughter in the form of hearts. It was If it was Valentine's Day, that would be another perfect option. And then she loves dinosaurs, so I made her a dino chicken nugget. You don't have to buy those packaged ones. And you can make any shape you want depending on the holiday. You can change them up. It's just really so easy. And then our last one is shrimp with fresh drawn butter. That is kind of a spin on lobster, but believe it or not, my daughter actually loves the shrimp when I boil them and leave them hot and then just give her a tiny bit of butter and lemon juice to dip them in. I actually love snacking on that one too. As you can see, there are just so many options that don't have to be stressful, especially if you have your little one join you in the kitchen.